Coinbase has been extremely shady lately regarding the GN Power Ledger situation. We're gonna go over that and a little bit more in this video of actually how you can create your own wallet via MetaMask. So if you do not know how to do that, you definitely wanna to stick to the end of this video. And without further ado, let's just jump right in it. Guys, on the tweeters, good morning. Are you going to continue using Coinbase after this GN Power Ledger disaster? Let me know if you're gonna do that down below. Of course, guys, heading over to Coinbase Pro. They have a lot of updates, a lot of tweets regarding GN and Power Ledger, and they also went down last night. So just to start off, guys, there, there, there's a lot. I'm not going to read through all these, but they did say, you know, we have enabled deposit address generation for GN and Power Ledger on Coinbase Pro, basically saying things should, should be good to go. And then last night while we were live, Coinbase went down. Coinbase went down and then they and then they tweeted trading and connectivity has resumed on Coinbase Exchange and on Coinbase Pro, web and mobile. But the thing is though, people were still reporting that the app was down, the website was down, they could not get into the Coinbase account. So all this like this just this issue recently with GN, Power Ledger, and then just going down recently does concern me. You know, we see on Coinbase status, we don't even have an update of it going down. Why? Like, why is there no update? Like, I, I don't un like understand because you guys can see November tw like 22nd. So the last time we were updated about, you know, we have enabled withdrawals for GN and Power Ledger for technical reasons, which is a bunch of BS. Buying, selling, trading, and deposit addresses will remain disabled. Guys, there's something going on. And of course, they're not telling us. I assume their lawyers will, like, will not allow it. But I get very concerned when I see an exchange going down and there's not really an update of what's going on. You know, like, guys, if you've been in the space for a while, you know, and if Exchange all of a sudden says, you know, we have um, unscheduled maintenance or the exchange is down for, like, unscheduled maintenance or just some random reason, it's all just random out of nowhere, um, there's a high probability they were hacked. Um, that happened in 2019, the summer of 2019, a, li a little story time before we get into the, like, into the MetaMask. Summer 2019, Binance OG was hacked. You know what they originally said? Oh, just some unscheduled maintenance. Yeah, well, comes out, um, CZ went live on Twitter and saying, yeah, we were hacked, da 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 We're trying to roll back the Bitcoin blockchain because they were hacked for, I think it was $41 million, something around there. You guys can fact check me on that. It's somewhere like, a, a, like around that region. And keep in mind, summer 19, uh, Bitcoin hit around 14K at the top. So prices were pretty high compared to the bear market. So they wanted to roll back the Bitcoin blockchain. I mean, thank God they did not do that. That would ruin the entire thing. But um, just goes to show you, what uh, these major players can try to do in this space. But the whole point though is it concerns me. It concerns me with Coinbase's lack of just transparency, the lack of communication. So if you guys may wanna consider starting to make a um, like your own wallets, we're gonna start off here guys with MetaMask. Some official links though, you always wanna to go to official links. There are scam MetaMask links out there. So I go to the official Twitter page right here. Bam, look at that. It says like the check mark, 369. I mean, that's like Elon's favorite number right there. Click on the link, MetaMask, that leads you over here. You're gonna go in, let's get my face out of the way. You're gonna have to go download here or download now, whatever works for you. I go into in like install MetaMask. We go to install MetaMask, go to this page, add the Chrome extension. I hit add, I hit add extension. And we wait a little bit. Um, I do not wanna turn on things, but guys, it will be, um, it will be right here. You guys see if we scroll down a little bit right here, you see like your MetaMask, the, like the little fox thing, I, I believe it's a fox, is get started and then it follows your face or your mouse, whatever you wanna call it, pretty cool. Get started, so no, I already have a seed, a secret recovery phrase or let's get started. So this is assuming you do not have a secret recovery um, phrase, basically AKA a private key. So hit create wallet. Now, of course, you wanna go through all this jar. You actually wanna read every single thing. Basically, guys, there is zero customer service. You are the customer service. So keep that in mind, guys. When we're, th this is a very serious topic, and I wanna make sure you understand that. It's very serious. You are the customer service. There's nobody to call if something goes wrong. Hit I agree. You type in a password. We'll just do like, you know, what should we do? We'll do test. One, two, three. And then it's not long enough, so one, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, and then I, I read it, passwords do not match. Well guys, make sure you match your passwords. That right there will help. And and, and don't do what I'm doing, like don't make it test one, two, three, four. Like you should never do that, okay? You should never do that, make it secure. You should actually watch this entire like video when you're going to make it, but I just want to re reiterate the highlights here, guys. It says, what is a secret recovery phrase? Your 12 secret recovery phrase is a 12 word phrase that is the master key to your wallet and funds. If you give this key to somebody, well, they have access to your funds. There was unfortunately a homie messaged me that he, he 
accidentally gave his private key to a scammer and well, the scammer got all his money. So it, it's, it's a sad story. But right here, you never wanna do this. You do not wanna show anybody this stuff right here, guys. This is your secret recovery phrase or right here. This is top secret. Do not give it to anybody, okay? You may wanna put it in a safety deposit box, put it somewhere safe, do not take a picture, do not screenshot it, do not upload it to the cloud, do not, do not save it on your computer. Do not do that, guys. Or write it down, put it somewhere safe. Look at that, I, I, I have my keys right here. I'm gonna copy this just for the sake of uh, doing this you know, tutorial of, like, of how to do it. Basically, read all the fine print, guys. You are customer service. Remember that, there's nobody to call. We go next. Now they want you to place them in order. So I'm gonna paste them up here. It was, what do we got? Shy, regret, chunk. I mean, some people like to actually memorize them. So, I mean, maybe you can memorize them, but uh, if you ever get brain damage, um, you're, uh, it's not it's not looking good. Electric, air, that's what you gotta do. And I actually messed that up. These need to be over. So see, if you wanna move them, that's how, how you do it. Uh, and then confirm. Congratulations, you passed the test. Keep your secret recovery phrase safe. It's your responsibility. Yes, guys, it's your responsibility. They give you a bunch of tips. Keep that in mind. Look at the tips, whatever works for you. Hit all done. Oh, look at this, guys. We have a MetaMask right here. Guys, this is a test MetaMask. Like, this is not my, my MetaMask, so just keep that in mind. Um, but like right up here, you can see where it says Ethereum mainnet. You can add a bunch of networks, add Binance Smart Chain, add the Flare Network. Um, you can add Songbird. I mean, there's there's so much, guys. Like, so much. So you, that's something you want to look into. You have all your accounts right here. You can create another account. I can create another account. Let's say I'm going to call it Test2. Whoa, we got Test2 now. Now we just create another wallet. Now look, I have one account, two accounts. But something I would recommend though, if you want to go over here to connect hardware wallet. Oh, they just allowed Lattice? Awesome, awesome. I've, uh, I've been looking at that. I might have to pick one up. Um, but Ledger, Trezor, and now Lattice. This is something new. This is exciting. Um, I, I mean, personally, I'd recommend get, like, getting yourself one of these three. Um, there is a, an affiliate link down below for Ledger Nano S and Ledger Nano X if you want to get that. Of course, do some research. But all, like, all you do is connect them. You have to click this thing, put it into your computer, hit continue, and then it's going to say, okay, connect, da 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 da. I'm not going to go through because I'm not, I'm like, like, I'm not connecting one. But that's something you probably want to do that's more secure than um, just having a MetaMask, like a regular MetaMask. Um, and if you want to go here to lock it, look, I just locked it. Now I can type my password. What was my password? Test one, two, three, four. Um, Awesome, I remembered. Um, but yeah, and then like you lock your back in. I recommend unlocking all the time. It's something I recommend for safety. You see this like three dots, what, like whatever that's called right there. You click on it, it says connected sites. It says account was not connected to any sites. So for example, if you would go to like Uniswap or you would go to some weird website and you, and, and you connect to it, I would, I would check this and disconnect. Always disconnect from sites. That's what I personally do. A little security tip right there. That's something you probably want to do. Guys, that, like that's the main highlights of MetaMask. I do recommend getting a hardware wallet to use this thing. Um, I, it's just safety, guys. It's just safety. If, if you're working with enough bucks, you want to do that. Um, it was sad to hear the homie lost um, some, some serious bucks from, from a scammer for giving the private key. So please do not ever do that. Do I mean, just do not do it. Do not do it, okay? I think I just said it backwards. But like guys, that's the video for today, guys. Seriously, let me know your thoughts about Coinbase. Are you guys gonna be using it? I mean, I'm just very concerned. I'm very concerned. Um, I hope the setup up a, like, a, like a MetaMask helps you. I understand MetaMask, it, it's not for everybody. I get it. There's other wallets out there, th but that's just, I mean, like if you know how to set up a MetaMask, you know how to set up like any other wallet. So just keep that in mind, guys. Um, let me know your thoughts, comments, concerns down below. And until next time, guys, consider smacking the subscribe button, smack the like button, and uh, may the gains be with you.